More now on the constant escalation between the United States and Iran. And once again, it's happening around the Strait of Hormuz. So are we once again on the brink of war or not? The president today addressed a crowd at the White House with this statement I want you to listen to. The boxer took defensive action against an Iranian drone, which had closed into a very, very near distance, approximately 1,000 yards, ignoring multiple calls to stand down and was threatening the safety of the ship and the ship's crew. The drone was immediately destroyed. This is the latest of many provocative and hostile actions by Iran against vessels operating in international waters. So what is the significance in this latest tit for tat? Another one, my, uh, should, we should add. Here with more on this and the situation brewing is a former naval intelligence officer, John Jordan, with what he had to say. Well, first of all, I think it's important to keep some perspective here. Despite all the tensions and, and just back and forth on this, not one human being has been so much as scratched in this, uh, in this, in this con contest between the United States and Iran right now. With the case of this drone, yeah, these ships, they have to take defensive action. If it comes within 1,000 yards, that's less than a mile, they have to take it out. They don't know. They know it's a drone. They know there's nobody on it. But it could be, a, it could be a, some renegade commander who wants to trigger a, an incident by hitting a ship. Um, the Iranians understand that, and I don't think this is going anywhere. I think it's well understood by all parties that, uh, that ships have a right, uh, uh, you know, military installations have a right to self-defense, and this is clearly such a case, and I think everybody involved gets that. So you haven't heard that we're the ones covering the stories that you won't see covered anywhere else? In Venezuela, Kazakhstan, let's go to Hong Kong. And the media reaction to that has been Crickets. How about the way we cover those stories? What the hell does that mean? Huawei, Huawei, Huawei. That's the key word in this case, uprising. Keep? Can you believe that? Watch it. This is the right thing for members of the media to do, to actually pick sides. Look, if you like what you see, subscribe.